Hey Aries, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your March 2020 love reading. Now, I want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, because not every single Aries is going through the same exact thing, obviously. So, if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it will be in your best interest to book a private reading with me. All the information to do so will be in the description below. Alright, so let's start off by asking the Aries... What is the overall energy for my Aries? What is the Aries overall energy? All right, so we are starting off with the Ace of Cups. So what this is telling me is that um, you could have met someone new. If not, this could be um, like you and this person kind of having like a renewal, okay? But I feel like I feel like you're really emotional this month when it comes to this person. I feel like you really, really love this person. And I feel like you love this person so, so much that at times you can't even, like, contain yourself, okay? It's like you love this person hard, okay? Like, if there was a meme that said... I love hard, it would be you, okay? But I feel like although you really love this person a lot, you're trying to be logical, okay? You're trying to make a head over heart decision because I feel like you feel like this person you're dealing with is very manipulative with the king of wands being reversed. This person could be a fire sign as well. So that could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, but it's like, you really, like when I say you really, really love this person, you really, really love them. But you are trying to think logical. You know, sometimes when we really, really love someone, we will put up with certain things. And then we just have to be real with ourselves. And I feel like this month... You are being real with yourself and you're seeing that, you know, this person is manipulative. You're seeing this person for who they truly are. And I feel like you're you're trying to figure out if you should cut this person out, okay? I also feel like this month you may feel like you need to express your truth to this person. The truth could be that you want to cut this person off. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm seeing here. So... The truth that you want to express to them is basically how you feel with the two of cups being here. So you feel like this person is your soulmate, okay? You feel like this person, you are compatible with them. You feel like you really love this person, but at the same time, this person is toxic, okay? They're manipulative, toxic, with the devil being here so you realize that this person really is not good for you you realize that this connection this relationship this situation that you have with this person is not for your higher good okay so it could be you going to this person and expressing how you feel which is i love you a lot i feel like we are compatible but at the same time i feel like this is not good for me and I feel like you're deciding to cut this person off, okay? You may also be involved with someone else, okay? So that, that could also be the reason why I pulled the Ace of Cups as well. Maybe you met someone new that you feel like is better for you. Or this person could have had another person in the equation and you found out about it. But I really feel like you may have met someone new and you've made a decision to give this other person an, a, a chance because this person is toxic, okay? You are experiencing a lot of anxiety about this decision, right? Because you don't want to regret it, okay? You may be feeling like you're going into this decision being... Um, naive you know you may feel like you don't know what's gonna happen but i feel like you're willing to take this chance that's what i'm seeing here yeah but you do feel stuck you do feel trapped because you're like i don't know if this is gonna be the right thing to do you know what i mean all you want is happiness that's all you want 
All you want is to get married. All you want is to have all the money. All you want is to have children. All you want is to just be happy. You don't want to make a bad decision. Yeah, you want more stability. So I feel like whoever this other person is, this other person represents stability and you know that, but you're still kind of struggling to make a decision because the other person, although they're toxic, you do love them. So that's what I'm seeing here. One person offers you stability while the other person offers you love. Because you really love the other person, but the other person is just manipulative. All right, so... Please tell me, how does the person that my Aries are dealing with, how does that person feel about them? <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you this right off the bat. This person is aware that you have a third party situation going on, all right? Now, um, if you don't have the third party situation going on, this can be vice versa. Just keep that in mind. But I'm feeling heavily it's you that has a third party situation going on. And they're picking up on it. This person... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I have like... But for those of y'all don't know, I have um, really, really bad acid reflux, okay? So, and it's like so, so bad that it like messes with my voice and everything. All right. So, um, it's like this person, they, 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 um, they're aware that you have a third party or at least they feel it. Okay. And I feel like this person is trying to get to the bottom of the truth when it comes to that. So like this person may be like, watching your social media really closely trying to see like who comments on your stuff or maybe like when you guys are around each other they're like looking from the side of the eye who you're texting like they're picking up on it okay so this person don't trust you at this point but here's an interesting thing by them knowing that you have someone else it's making them want to work harder for this it's making them want to put in more effort. It's making them want to manifest with you. It's like they're really willing to put in the work now because they see that they could possibly lose you, right? I feel like this is someone you've known for a while. They feel very familiar with you. That's how they view you as someone that they've known for really long and they're very comfortable with. I feel like this person realizes that they took you for granted, okay? This could have been someone who, you know, um, might have not really... I don't want to say that they don't want to commit to you, but it could be that they don't have much experience with commitment, and that could be the reason why they did certain things that they did. But I feel like there's a major shift being um, like taking place between you two, and this person, I feel like this person feels like you're deceptive. Like, they're picking up on it. They're like, yeah, they're like, they're like whoever this person is that you're dealing with like they're like don't be surprised if they come at you crazy i'm seeing back and forth like a like a disagreement between you two or you're both kind of like going at it with each other because this person is picking up on this third party okay so this person is going to work super hard to try to have balance between you guys again and try to compromise sometimes that's what it takes sometimes someone seeing you with someone else or just the idea of knowing that you could possibly be with someone else will make them act right so it looks like this person whoever they are they're gonna fight for you and just just be prepared for it because they're gonna come super hard all right so um aries i want to thank you for watching this reading i hope you found it helpful if you did please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you like to book a private room me all the information to do that is in the description below if you want to check out my other services all the information for that is in the description below as well talk to you soon